what, what, we, what we can try and simulate now is if you get struck by lightning and it, try, it goes through your core... So this is actually quite dangerous, this bit now. This is, yeah, this don't, would, this would don't do this at home. OK. Now, just to reassure everyone, this is not connected yet, even though I plugged it in, until these two buttons are pressed. OK. OK, so that, that's a gherkin. Yep. And if, so imagine that's you. You get hit by lightning and now it's going through the core of your being. So first of all, you see it boiling quite quickly because there's huge amounts of current going through there. So it's boiling up, steam's coming out. And then it starts breaking down the very fabric of the gherkin, which could be you. <laughs> and then the temperatures, wow, that's, the temperatures that's quite go. To boil, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Oh there yes. There we go. There we go. And then it's so hot, you're getting actually light coming off it. And that light is a particular orange yellow, which you might recognise, yeah, Dara. That's, that's street light. That's, that's yeah. sodium light. And it's exactly the same way. I mean, that is sodium from the salt in the gherkin. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's, is it? Ooh, ow, oh, wow. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite a few thousand degrees probably inside there. Is it okay to go in? Is that all going to be all right? Yeah. Okay, so that's the effect yeah. it'll actually have, have on yeah, flesh. Yeah. So, but the path, is there a vivid way of seeing the, very, the, the actual okay. path? So, so the thing is, why does lightning happen? Because it's, it's, it's in a high charge trying to get through the air. The air is an insulator. So, yeah. how does it get through? So, it has to break down the air and make it into a conductor. And there's a really fantastic demo which I would like to show you, which sort of reproduces that situation. So, this is. Let's say this is a piece of air. It's actually perspex, but they're both insulators. And we've irradiated it with, with electrons. So there's lots of electrons in here. You can't see them, but there's yes. a high voltage in there. Now, they've got nowhere to go because this is an insulator. They can't get out. And it's the same with lightning. So there's a huge amount of charge. It's looking for somewhere to go. So the electrons are sitting quite happily at the moment in rest. So how do we shake them out of that? Yeah, so we, we need to give them a high potential, a place, a, a, basically a concentration point. And I'm going to hit it with a hammer. OK, let's bring the lights down so we can see this is as dramatic as possible. Oh, that's quite moody, actually. <laughs> you tell me when. We're ready to go. OK. Oh! Now, although that looks like just a crack, it's not. If you look at it, very see, see the little light? There's more There's lightning still, still happening, lightning yeah. occurring as it goes along. Because it's still giving parts of the electrons. My God, how long does that go on for? It can go on for hours. Because bits of the electrons that are marooned in this insulator are finding this path which it created by breaking down this, this insulator, so melting it, basically, vaporising it. So the little holes are all what you see here, feathery holes. And um, these patterns, are, you know, you saw that on the people, you know, who were burnt, you saw that on their skin, because that's exactly the same process. Here's the same effect in slow motion. So just hitting it, with the hammer creates that effect. Let's see it. And that was the flash. That, see, that is the flash of, of huge temperature. That's, that's tens of thousands of degrees centigrade because it vaporizes the insulator. And then that creates that fern like pattern. And all the electrons are channeled down to Earth, which is why this hammer was connected to it. That is incredible. And, and it's still cute. going. Yeah. Yes. Wow.